Up next, Debbie Murphy, teaching professional at Trump National Bedminster. She's the two-time section award winner for youth player development. A little stretch in between these two awards. Won back in 1996 in the Western New York PGA and our 2016 award winner here in the New Jersey section. She's also the assistant coach for the Seton Hall University women's golf team. The head coach of hers is one of her former students, who I'm sure she'll talk about later as well. Uh, she still plays competitive golf. She beats a lot of us out here. Um, and no further ado, Debbie Murphy. Started putting out the door, 
And then, of course, with technology, they were taking videos. It was awesome. Uh, so these are just some different pictures of different programs that I'll outline in just a few. Uh, Bedminster Prep has been a, has a, been a great program, similar to Bill's group um, uh, uh, elite program. So I have, this, my pilot program was last year. I had four kids that did it. I'll kind of show you my props when I finish. But um, I had four kids that did it. Uh, we had a great, great time. It was a, a setup like a season-long program. So they had eight private lessons. We did 12 um, supervised practices, two-hour sessions on Saturday, and um, then two play days and a road trip. So our road trip last year was to go to Princeton. We played golf down in Springdale. Uh, and, and then went and had dinner and walked around town and everything. So the kids, they, they love it. They, they had a, a great time with that. And, uh, and I enjoyed it as well. You know, four great kids. We did a training session with the, with the guy that I do kickboxing with. And uh, it really turned out well. Uh, after School Academy and Munchkin Clinics. Um, you know, just, just great stuff. After School Academy is three weeks in September, three weeks in October. So of course we do a big Halloween spread. The, the last year, uh, day we get, you know, have a party and all uh, Halloween. If you can't remember anything but by the presentation today about kids, all you need is candy. You do anything for candy. So, um, uh, and then it's fun with the After School Academy with the, the Halloween theme. I set up like a six hole short course on our regular course and I decorate with skull bones and um, you know scarecrows and all the, the Halloween stuff. They're my team markers, I put hands coming out of the cup. You know, that one hole there's um, the pumpkin challenge. So three pumpkins on, on the putting green, the hole is under one pumpkin. They have to choose and try and decide or pick which pumpkin to put to. So um, sometimes they're right, sometimes they're wrong. It may cost them an extra couple bucks, but uh, so that's fun too. The Munchkin Clinic has been a huge, huge thing at the club. It's it's so funny what what kind of catches on. Over here on the left, you can see there's an obstacle course set up. So the obstacle course is just uh, you know simple things under over the the noodles there. There's a basket here. They go up, they fish out, fish out as many balls as they can with the net, run down, throw them in the other basket, run back, touch the next guy. So just, you know, real simple things can make your junior program just fun where the kids just want to keep coming back, coming back. Tennis balls or munchkin clinics, that's what they hit. They don't hit golf balls. They hit golf balls on the putting green, they hit tennis balls for, for full swing. Um, this was a really windy day. We normally put up uh, like a princess house that they hit balls into. Again, tennis balls. They're hitting tennis balls into the top of the, the big blow up. And then the bouncy house, they can go in after, afterward and use it like a bouncy house. But um, all, these, all these programs, it's the, the, the little thing, the things that we kind of you know, throw in uh, to hook the kids, that's what they remember special part that they remember out of each each thing. Um, so before I'm, I'm going to go back a second and uh, where I started in, in my career was at Webster Golf Club where I grew up and I lived on the seventh hole, never played golf as a kid, started playing in high school and uh, it's where I began my career, my playing uh, my own playing, and where I created Webster Golf Camp. So for 15 years, I started in 1989, and um, it was a huge successful program, and it now has led me to Trump Academy. So Webster Golf Camp, back in a public course, so was saying, you know, any facility where you are, you um, make things work. So Webster Golf Camp is now Trump 
uh, academy at an exclusive private club. But over the years, I stayed in touch with kids from Webster Golf Camp. So first you'll see Dominic, um, almost had a hole in one just by an inch last week on the PGA Tour, great guy. Here he is as a 10 year old, always a goofy kid. His trophies on his cap, if you can't see that. Two cheeseburgers and six bags of Skittles every day at lunch. Uh, you know, just a fun, great kid. Always wanted to play the PGA Tour. All he talked about. He always wore a Nike hat, which he has there, or a Titleist hat. Um, but, but a lot of fun. This, um, so here he is again here. He played for Auburn, All-American at Auburn. Tessa was an All-American at LSU, a uh, four-year career, has dabbled in the Symmetra Tour. Um, but, you know, just spent so much time with all these kids. Uh, Andrew Lane played for Notre Dame. And then, oops, the special other kids you may have a chance to meet, mentor, and possibly share the road with, but even they might put you on another road which is Sarah Dahl and Jordan Zwick. Um, Jordan doesn't look like a runner here as a 16-year-old, but he played one year of college golf at American. The team folded, and he switched to running. And he and I trained um, after he, he was still in college, so I don't know how, he's 32 now with a baby. But we trained for a marathon that we ran together in Miami. And then he became a runner. So he went from college golf, team folded, started running, and then played uh, or ran competitively for three years in school. So he calls me two years ago, two years ago, and says, "I just competed in the world championship in speed golf. I put my two loves together, and they're speed golf." He said, "I, I finished fourth. It's the first time he ever did it. I finished fourth. You got to do it with me next year." I was like, Jordan, I don't have time. I'm at this job, and I don't run anymore. I've been injured. I'm old. He goes, no, no, no. you got to start running again, and we're going to play next year. So sure enough, we played. This is uh, in Chicago. This is this year. He, uh, he finished eighth. And this is me competing in the World Golf Championships because of my junior golfer, Jordan. Sarah, from Penn State, this is the day that she um, signed for Penn State. And here we are winning a Big East. Sorry, Andrew, this was last year anyway. Maybe it was this year. And, and of course this year, um, I'm Sarah's assistant. So, you know, you never know who you're gonna be working with, mentoring. I think I had some other notes there, but I don't know. I went without the written word. Um, but you never know who you're going to be uh, mentoring and how they're going to come back later in life. Um, it's been a cool ride, and I'm happy that kids still think I'm fun. <laughs> and that I can still do junior golf. Um, so I'm going to put some bunch of things on the table out there, and I'll talk with you individually about some other ideas and stuff you might be interested in. But um, I want to thank you getting me through, and uh, if you have any questions, I'm happy to answer those.
And I mean, I had kids coming from Oak Hill, Monroe, I was in Rochester, and uh, Webster Golf Camp was huge. And they started with uh, four weeks of, of kids. The first year I did it, 1989. And three short years later, I had 300 kids going through the summer, two instructors that worked for me. We had two full day groups going around. And uh, then we had boot camp in the afternoon. That was for the beginners. They didn't play golf. Um, so it's, you know, Webster Golf Camp was huge. But anyway, he told me I should put it all together and do seminars. I'm like, what would you say? Who would come to that? Who would come to that, right? <laughs> now U.S. kids, 20 years later, right? You pay how much for it. But anyway, they had a cool game, pool, putting pool. So eight ball, right? They had an eight ball. But they have white balls and yellow balls. That's boring. So I found foot balls, crowd favorite, eyeballs, the kids love those. The money ball, everybody fights for the money ball. Soccer, basketball, all these golf balls, right? They love these things. So when I pull out this bag with all these balls, they attack it. I want the money, I want the money, I want soccer. And then we play putting pool. So that's a great game. But I put a little spin on it, made it even more interesting with the golf balls. And uh, they always wear me down at the end of the year. Uh, for, they want them. They want to keep them. So we play games to keep the, the basketball. And we have kids from Trump that are going, you know, wherever they're going and entertained with everything. And all they want is my basketball golf ball. But it's, uh, junior golf is awesome. Uh, so what else can I share with you here? Any more thing? Oh, so I was going to start with this, but I wasn't in the emotionally right. Um, but going back to Webster Golf Camp, and it, it stayed with me my whole career. We had one kid, Jason, and uh, he came to Webster Golf Camp as a little kid, and he wanted to play high school golf. And uh, but well before he wanted to play high school golf, he, uh, I had a rule, because I had so many kids that wanted to come, that you could only come for two weeks, unless you were a substitution. Right, and I had a short list of kids that would, would come if I called and said that we had a, a last minute opening. And he was one of those kids. So he'd come you know, six or seven times over three, four years. And I said to his mom, now, you know, and now he's 16, 15, 16, and I said, why does Jason still want to come to camp? I don't get it, we, it's boring. You know, it's gotta be boring for him. Same schedule, it's very consistent. Same schedule, same format. You know, same games, you might find a new game here and there. And uh, she said, you know, it's funny. I asked him the other day, and he said, I don't know. I just feel so special when I'm here. Mm -hmm. that's, that's the thing that's just stayed with me through my career. So thank you.